where it's from. Of course, we got Jay Wheel on the line. Jay, man, how are you, man? Jay, I'm not hearing your audio, man. What happened? I, I lost your sound, man. Where you go? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Introduce yourself, man. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? Thank you again for having me. Um, I am doing really, really good, man. I'm, I'm well, man. I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity today, man. Great day in Texas. I'm from Texas, Dallas, Texas. If you guys don't know, Jay Will, you're from Dallas, Texas, born and raised. Oh, well, you know, man, I, I'm excited about this brand new hit that you have, man, titled Greater, man. Why don't you uh, share with our viewers and listeners? Tell us a little bit about it, man. Where did it come from? What was the root foundation? Well, I, uh, I wrote a Greater uh, for the purpose of I was going through a lot of things uh in my life and uh um while in the process of going through that i had to sit down i was actually going through i just had uh it was in the midst of quitting a job actually um there was a lot of things that was going on with the job and but mostly it was due to church um uh, as they call church hurt but it was really people hurt um in the midst of that i went through an, an anxiety attack um, after going through that, I had, uh, God reminded me that he's greater than anything, that he does not, um, uh, uh, that he's not the one that hurts you. It's people that hurt you. So in the midst of that, I wrote the song greater and it was, it was in the midst of hurt. It was in the midst of pain. It was a midst of it, even me going through my life trials and tribulations. And, um, um, and that's how the song was birthed out. It wasn't just an up and just an up and let me write a song. It was out of pain. It was out of hurt. And it was an encouragement to me to let me know that God still speaks to me, even in the midst of pain, even, even in the midst of hurt. So, and he let me know that he's greater than the situation that I was, that I was facing and that I, that, that I do face. And so it's been an encouragement to not only me, but to so many people that has and have encouraged me. Wow. Well, you know, man, I, I have to ask, man, because the song uh, and the project is so awesome, man. Is this, in fact, your freshman project or was there some prior to this one? Yes, this is actually my second single release. Um, uh, last year, I released a single um, entitled America uh, featuring uh, Norris J. And that actually happened uh, right before uh, right before all of this even occurred um the, the 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 death of george floyd all of that and so um the, the protest the racial racial injustice when all of this had occurred it, it occurred after the fact that i had wrote this song so i'm just like wow what a perfect time to uh that god uh, allowed me to write a song called america so that's the that's the single that i have out that i released last year and this is my second which i'm so extremely proud of I'm extremely happy for um the song greater uh but yes i did have one prior to this one well you know i i can only imagine and some of the great people that uh you had the opportunity to work with along the way during this journey man and uh, during this particular process of this project, man, who were some of those people? Who were some of the ones that you want to send a shout out to, man, that you had the chance to work with? Well, I do want to send a shout out to this particular record. I, uh, or a single, I uh, worked with uh, Jojo Martin. He is a national recording artist um, who works with PJ Morton. Uh, Bishop Paul Morton's son, a uh, very phenomenal guy. I had the opportunity to go to Atlanta and um, have a couple of words with him and speak with him. He was very happy that he was a part of the project. I was very honored that he was a part of the project. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing guy. Such a humble, such a safe, safe guy that I was able to uh, be a part of. My last single uh, I, I want, definitely want to give a shout out also to my one of my good, good friends, uh, Norris J, also a national recording artist here in Dallas, Texas. So those uh, those two people, I mean, and I, I do want to also give a shout out to the producers. Um, uh, I produced, well, I had Jamie and Thompson that actually produced the, um, 
I'm sorry, they engineered my last single, America, and this single, um, and, and the producer, uh, Nojo Wallace, um, um, on my America single. So I have a couple of people to thank, Diamond Freeman, uh, um, One Sound Music, uh, Chaney, Jeremiah Chaney. I have a couple of people, but I just want to mostly thank God, man, uh, because if it wasn't for him, for me writing those two songs, um, um, him giving me the opportunity to write those songs, man, it definitely wouldn't be as impactful as it is. But uh, yes, yeah, sir, yeah, I, I do want to give them a shout out and shout out to my family. I love my family for supporting me all the time because they push me to do what I'm doing now. Man, I tell you, man, awesome, awesome job, those guys. And of course, if you guys don't know, uh, Jay Williams is a part of the GMAP Broadcast Network Music Ministries family. And of course, you will see and or hear more from this young man uh, throughout the weeks, months, and even years ahead uh, with this brand new single. It's being aired continuously uh, throughout the day in rotation. We want you guys to show your love, your care, concern, and support. And I know uh, there's going to be uh, quite a few people that they're either checking out this current conversation or they may, in fact, uh, receive an opportunity to check out the rebroadcast. How? can the single be acquired? How can they connect? How can they download? How can they get a copy of this awesome new hit, man, to show their support? Well, the single yeah. is available everywhere um, on all digital media outlets, iTunes, Apple Music, Tidal. Uh, um, I was about to say Yahoo, but I'm kind of telling my age, not that I'm like old, old, but they don't do Yahoo like that anymore. <laughs> so YouTube, um, you have, um, um, uh, what is it called? Spotify. Um, uh, there's a, on it, you, every outlet that you can think of, you're able to stream the song. Go out, stream it, tell your friends about it, lift your hands, pray, whatever you got to do. Get in the quiet room and listen to the song. It's that type of song, but you can stream it or download it in, uh, everywhere, everywhere. Well, you know, man, I'm not. I'm not going to be one to tell uh, to tell your age, man. But I was able to uh, re relate to something you said a little <laughs> earlier. Uh, I'm gonna rewind the tape and press play. You mentioned the word. You mentioned the word record, and you know these days, man, the word record is obsolete uh, in the music yeah. industry, man. But uh, I'm familiar with records, man. And of course, again, uh, we want to encourage you all to stop by GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com. Uh, visit our music ministries area. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to see this cover. Uh, placed in that area. You can click on the cover. It'll take you to the necessary location uh, to get more information intimately about uh, this young man, this ministry, this particular project. And we're excited about that. Um, I know for a fact, man, also people are going to want to reach out and, and possibly connect with you. You know, I know that there's some mm -hmm. social media, websites, email, phone number, management team. I know there is a way that the people that are viewing this conversation will be able to connect with you. But I'd love it if you would take a few seconds to share that information with our viewers and listeners also. Absolutely. I would love to do so. Thank you. Um, uh, first off, if you're if you're wanting to get in contact with me, um, I do have a team that uh, that works with me. Um, you can reach us at the J Will Era at gmail.com. That's T H E J W I L L E R A at gmail.com. Um, also, if you'd like to contact me, um, you can actually add me on my personal Facebook page, Jermaine Williams. You should see my picture in the single up, um, as well as my business uh, um, Facebook page, which is the J will era just like the email um lastly i have an instagram page which is the J will era as well so definitely go ahead and add me um and and if, if you want to um reach out to us we'll be more than happy to uh um, speak with you uh whatever you need prayer whatever you know I, I'm, I'm just a a, a, a text away <laughs> but uh yes those are my platforms you're able to reach me um and and uh contact me Man, I'm just, uh, I'm so grateful, uh, I'm honored, I'm privileged, and I have been blessed uh, that you have allowed uh, this uh, platform, GMAP Broadcast Network, to become a part of your journey, man, as God has placed it in your spirit to be the call that you have been called to be, 
And of course, uh, we're going to do everything in our power uh, to continue to show our love, care, concern, and support uh, for the ministry that he has embedded in you. Now, before I let you go, man, and bless the people one more time with this hit single, man, I want to draw a scenario for you. Uh, I know there are some people out there today who uh, they want to follow their dreams. They, they, they have the support of a great team of people and family and friends and things of that nature. They, they trust God. But I'm going to put together what I call my megatorium. And my okay. megatorium is going to consist of the T.D. Jakes Potter's House and the Joel Olstein Auditorium put together. My megatorium okay. has 50,000 seats in it. My megatorium mm -hmm. with 50,000 seats in it are all occupied by young men that have mm -hmm. experienced trying times like you. They want to follow mm -hmm. their dreams. They're just not quite sure uh, what the next step may be. But I had the honor of introducing Jay Will to the podium. My first and last question to you would be, what would you say to them? One of the things that I would say to you would be to follow your dreams. The Bible says that he will give you the desires of your heart. And that desire, um, and, and you know, when we look at Genesis, we talk about how we were created in God's image. One of the issues that I had in life was I had an issue with my identity and knowing exactly who and what I was supposed to be. Although I had the gifts, I had the talents, I had everything that, you know, you would think that I would have to move me forward in life. However, I had an identity crisis and an identity issue uh, growing up in a family that was loving, but feeling neglected in the midst of 10 brothers and sisters, in the midst of my mom raising us. With that being said, I had an issue with my speech. I was very shy uh, and you wouldn't think that, you know, you didn't think that I would be, uh, especially now, but I'm a very, very shy person growing up. I used to feel that I was null and void. I used to feel like I was a robot. I used to feel like that God didn't care about me. So I dealt in my mind that I'm not worth it. I felt in my mind that I am not who God wants me to be on this earth. So growing up with that, God informed me in the midst of my anxiety, in the midst of my depression, in the midst of everything that I was going through, God took me to the book of Exodus and he told me about, he showed me in the book of Exodus about Moses and how he, how he had an issue with a speech impediment. Now I didn't grow up having a speech impediment, but I used to always stutter. I used to always have an issue with speaking in front of big crowds. I had used to have an issue with believing in who I was. Although I had issues, all I had pain and trials and tribulations just like everyone else. But God took me to the book of Moses and it, it inspired me and let me know that regardless of what you did in your life, regardless of uh, whether you murdered someone, regardless of what you what you had going on in your life, I'm still going to use you with your flaws. I'm still going to use you regardless of you, you thinking that you're not worth it. Also, I went to uh, he encouraged me. Also, I had two people that God encouraged me by was Moses. Let me know that Moses, even though he had a, a speech impediment and he had an issue with himself, he still did what God called him to do. He didn't do it exactly how God called him to do, but it showed me that even in your imperfect, in your, in your imperfection, God still consider you perfect in his will. The second person was David, how everybody overlooked him. His brothers overlooked him. His family overlooked him. That's how I felt as a young man growing up that my family overlooks me. That's how I felt. I'm not saying that they did do that, but this is how I felt in the midst of my brothers and my sisters. I felt like I was I was not called to do God's will. And me being a younger kid, it let me know that even though you're overlooked, even though uh, uh, it seemed like things are crushing down on you, God still used me in my young age, even if you feel not you're not inspiring people. So that encouraged me and, and caused me to be who I am, who I am. The Bible literally in, in, inspired me, encouraged me, and let me know that my dreams can become a reality. I did not think that I'm here today. Um, I, I thought about multiple times of committing suicide.
because of my identity crisis, because of the things that were planted in my mind, things that were planted in my head. But to God, for God, I, I, I appreciate him for showing me grace and showing me mercy. And he showed me that I was worth living on earth. If it's just for the song greater to touch somebody's life. So that's what encouraged me. And, and I encourage you guys that if you doubting yourself, if you are, are down and out, if you don't feel like you can make it, if you don't feel like you can take it, if you feel like you are neglected, which I spoke on this past Sunday, if you feel like you neglected, listen, God will put you in a position where you feel like that everything you say, everything that you do, it definitely counts. So I want to encourage you guys to stay in the will of God. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Nobody said it's going to be easy, but I don't believe that's the old saying that he brought me this far to leave me. My God, man, I tell you, you hit it right on the head, man. I, and I know that, that uh, those words of encouragement will inspire uh, many in that megatorium. And um, I'm grateful uh, for your wisdom and, and, and I'm grateful for your presence uh, here on the GMAP Amen. broadcast network, man. I know that uh, you're excited. I know that you just can't wait for things to just continue to flourish. Uh, sometimes we don't understand. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not yes, our sir. thoughts. And uh, we yes. just have to lay back sometime and and be still and let God do what God does. Man, I thank you so much. I'm going to be blessing the people here shortly with the brand new hit single titled Greater from my friend Jay Will. Right here on the number one faith-based motivational and inspirational broadcast platform in the country. Five time in a row stellar nominated broadcasting in over 168 countries. And we are honored, privileged, and blessed to be at the forefront of this awesome ministry. Before I let you go, man, I just need to do this. Heavenly Father, our Father, and our God, we once again, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus to simply say thank you as we always should. We thank, thank you, you for this God. divine connection. We thank you for this brother who has chosen, Father God, in the name of Jesus to stand at the forefront you, and do your will to do your works and to I do it your it. way. Allow him to be inspired to reach out to your people in every corner of the world, to encourage and motivate them to be ready, willing, and able to serve our mighty God. Father, we thank and we praise you on this day. We ask for your continued yes, blessings individually and collectively in the name of Jesus. We promise, Father God, Amen. that you already receive all the honor. We'll give you the praise yes. and we will give you the glory. We ask these and many other prayers and blessings to be heard and answered in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty yes. name we pray. Jesus, amen. 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 Hey, Jay, man, we appreciate <laughs> you so much, man. We're going to bless the people uh, with the hit single, Greater. I'll be giving you a call a little bit later, man. But until then, you be blessed and continue to be a blessing, okay? God bless you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Sits on a heavenly throne, seated in majesty, all of our praise is due. You're great in glory, there's no one quite like you. Our God is greater.
one who has all power Grace is the one who gave his only son Grace is he who sits at the right hand of God Grace Nobody like you, we ask you to come down 